Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for F1 Manager 24. As we continue our run here with Broyer Racing, looking on, uh, we're going to be doing Imola here in about 11 days. Uh, I don't think we'll have any new parts finished by then. Uh, front wing 4, suspension 3, chassis 3, we've already got all of those. So, yeah, we're still waiting on a few design parts, which are going to be these right here. We will have the rear wing designed in time for Imola. Just not designed in time to make anything for Imola. And then the owner floor a couple days later. So we'll be looking at, actually, you know what? We can probably just go and throw in a couple more engineers. I didn't even think about that before now. Um, I think that went down to 10 days. How, how fast can we get this one down? We're down to nine if we just do that. And then we can still get this one down a little bit quicker. Down to 12, that'll work. That'll get it a little bit quicker. And we probably should have done that sooner. That's all right. Uh, so we'll get these out, Maybe not for this race, but possibly for the one after that. Uh, and then I think we're desi done designing parts after that. So we're going to be focusing on research. This is the big research um, season because of how much, uh, how many changes are going to be going in for next season. So this is the chance for us to really catch the AI and propel ourselves up pretty far into next season. So, all right, let's go ahead and continue here. There's our front wing. Got enough installed on everything. Um, what else are we currently making at the moment? Chassis and suspension. I think we got enough of everything else, don't we? Uh, no, we don't have any underfloors, so let's get some some more. Although we're making some more underfloors. So oh, never mind. We'll wait for that. We'll just buy our time until that comes out, and that'll all be good. say if we don't hit the target again this time i'm gonna be a bit annoyed but thankfully we did so all good there i'm just gonna continue auto filling these just because i want to make sure that we do get it i think we get bonus for one of these things don't we like we get an extra boost for something that doesn't show it here but i thought one of our sponsors had like a built-in boost for something I don't know. We're getting a pretty big jump for just for doing that, though. Oh, Valentini, you need a performance rating? I mean, it's always good to get any of our staff performance boosts along the way. All right, so now we can manufacture some rear wings. And we will go ahead and just manufacture the full set that we need. And go back to continue doing the research. I thought about sticking around just doing a few more designs throughout the season, but honestly, I don't, I don't know that we need to. Um, research is just going to be the most important thing, because again, as you can see, all the major technical changes over here. So, we really need to focus in on these pretty big time. I think we're waiting on hours for the rear wing, right? Or did we get hours already? Oh, we already have hours, okay. So, front wing, I think we already put hours into that. And then we weren't going to do hours for the suspension, so that's why we went ahead and did that. We'll do hours for the underfloor at some point. I think everything else will be hourless. So for now, uh, rear wing hours make sense. And usually, let me make sure I'm just looking at the right thing. Usually we do um, drag reduction and high speed for this. I mean, look at it. Everything is minus 50%. Everything is minus 50%. So we're still going to get a little bit of a benefit here, obviously. But we're going to get bigger benefit on the things that we care about the most. That's about a 15% boost on that. That's about an 8%, about a 7.5%. So not too bad. Actually, we're moving up to 16% there. This is this is going to be... We're not going to bounce back from the full 50%, I don't think, by the end of the season. But we are going to bounce back more than most of the other teams. At least that's the general idea. Unless more patches have gone in that I've missed. Which is always a possibility. This is this is the season where we get to see the bugs that are in this game the most. Again, unless more changes have happened that I just I'm not aware of. Alright, so there's all the chassis done. Suspension. We do need another suspension just to kind of stay on top of that, although I think we're already making one of those. Underfloor, we were gonna wait. Side pods, we've got four. 
rear wing we're currently making, front wing we're good, and we just did the chassis. Okay, so everything else is good. We don't have to do any more manufacturing right at the moment. We will be doing some more at some point, though. I'm just going to keep going 21st an hour. I just don't trust these guys until we get more parts on these cars. I feel like we should be faster than we are being represented, so some maybe some other changes have gone into play that make my current um, design strategy uh, not as valuable as possible. But uh, we'll play it out for now, and we'll see how it goes. We still don't have all of our really, really good parts, right? We're still waiting on the rear wing. We're still waiting on the end of the floor. So there's still some stuff to come. All right, let me go do practice qualifying, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Qualified 16th and 19th. Somehow this season, Fernandez is just becoming the better driver than Eben is. Um, yeah, don't know. It is what it is. But, uh, I mean, she does have a little bit more negative overall mentality, so maybe that's affecting some of her uh, performance itself. But uh, here we go. The um, tires look like they're about as good as they're going to get, so I'm not going to really change anything with uh, those. Uh, we got, you know, decent car parts on here. Uh, gearboxes are a little bit low, but honestly, I think we can get one more race out of those before I worry about them. So I'm going to leave those on there. Other than that, let's just change our driver mentality just for the first starting gate. And let's see if we can get... I don't know. I mean, again, we don't need points yet. I'm not really expecting points just yet. Hoping as we get the rest of the design parts, we'll be able to sneak in and get a few points at least once. But uh, we'll see how that goes. And we'll have those probably for the next race. Maybe the one after that. All right, let's go ahead and make sure I get our mentalities kind of the way I want them to be. I feel like this has been, we have had a couple accidents, but I don't think the accidents we've had are because of the mentality so far. So I think I'm so far, I'm mostly okay with what we've been just doing. There's a yellow flag now. And that's us right there. Oh, that was at the very back of the pack. Okay. Well, at least that did not affect us. I mean, Fernandez is moving up into 10th uh, place all of a sudden. I don't think he's going to be able to hold on to it, but it's still very, very cool. To see that he's at least capable enough to sort of get up there at least briefly. I mean, we're knocking on the door a little bit here. And right, as the race progresses, I'm sure we'll probably start dropping back again. Go back down to balanced on the fuel. A little bit below our line on both of our tires just because we did push them a bit early on. Probably taper back a little bit here in a bit. Fernando's dropping back even more now. Although he's close to those guys in front of him. Although just, I think he just, oh, he did get the RS that time. That's good. This is a balanced track. So, I mean, top speed is still important, um, but, uh, which is not our strength. Obviously our strength, it's, top speed is by far our biggest weakness. Oh, even as taking over Fernandez there, I don't know what happened to Fernandez. He's definitely starting to draw back pretty big time now. People just pushing more than we are? Um, not really. I mean, honestly, some people are even pushing less than we are. Could have done the simulation to see what the... 
triple or like a double pit, I should say, triple triple stint would be. But uh, we're kind of stuck with the, the single pit for now. Maybe I should have one person go triple, one person stay single. That might have been the the smarter move. Yeah, we're starting to drop back pretty heavily now. Whatever whatever advantage we had early on, or not advantage, but whatever boost we were getting early on has definitely died off now. Tires are close to where we want them to be. Um, we'll see how it comes, uh, how it goes after we get out of the, the first pit here, but I, I have a feeling we're basically settling into this positioning based on what I'm seeing so far. I mean, as always, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that our guys are stacked quite as much as they are. We're on the outer edge of our pit timing. Let me just I'm gonna settle them down a little bit here. We need to make sure we make it pretty much all the way to our pit window here. I don't think we're going to quite make it, though. All right, even as is in front, she'll pit this time. Fernandez is just going to have to, I don't know, we'll have to play it out. Hopefully going to get a pit here. We only get one chance, unfortunately. Two five, I can I can handle that. That's pretty good. I don't think it's gonna be top five. Might sneak into the bottom of the top ten. Two, three. That might be top top three. All right. As soon as Ibanez gets some temperature, I mean, we're not going to be doing much pushing, but we'll push a little bit here. So we'll go back down to this. We'll go ahead and go ahead and full deploy here. Hopefully, Ibanez can kind of get back into the fight here. Although she's back sixteenth, I mean, that's where she ended. So. I'm kind of okay with that. Everybody pit already? Mm, Ghastly has not. But just anybody else that would. Ghastly's the only person we might be able to catch, although barely. Everybody else has already pit. And that is it for us. That is all we're going to be doing for the entire rest of the race. We did pass Gasly there, so 15th, 14th looks like that's about where we're going to be ending up. I don't expect us to really jump up much more than that.
Oh, well, we're gonna get an opportunity to put on some new tires at least. Before we've actually come in for this red flag, can we go ahead and edit our because we don't usually get to do this. I probably should get in the habit of doing this more often when we get red flags is seeing if, if there's another set of tires that we can put on here at all. It's just not. You have nothing left. Wow. That is... Like we literally have no tires left that we can put on here. I mean, one nineteen thirty one. There's no way we keep temperature in these that long. Versus, yeah, we it would. Well, it's going to take the twenty seconds for the pit, right? Counting the pit, which we're going to get for free. I I'm tempted to try this because somewhere between here and here, we will we'll be able to make it work. But I'm worried that we won't be able to keep temperature in these tires long enough. Unfortunately, we just have no other tires to put on here. Hmm. And what about her? I'm just him, Dill. We have nothing else either. Same kind of deal, though. If we flirt between these two, we might be able to make it to the end. But again, will we be able to keep temperature in there long enough to make it matter? And it's only taken off what? I honestly, I think it's a break even based on work running the ones we have now. Once you ignore the fact that there's not going to be an actual pit stop, pit stop. Uh, is there a way for us to see um, total pit stop time? <laughs> We're literally number one and number 10. Um, report, circuit info maybe. Actually, pit stop's approximately 28 seconds. Okay, so it is still faster. If we take 28 seconds off of those other things, I was, I was expecting 20 seconds, but 28 seconds is actually make it faster to put on the softs if we can keep temperature in. Nico Hulkenberg there. Ow. They can't avoid oh wait, somebody back there crashed too. What was up with that? The car any good at all. I mean, it feels crazy, but I think we're going to try it. Now we really cannot. Oh, everybody else is out on softs too. So apparently it is the right thing to do. All right. Let me just check something though. Um, we ran our current stint at this speed. Looks like we can make it to the end. What if we had another stint of just sauce? Let me just check this one. This is a 120.01. It'd just be too slow. We wouldn't make up the time. So. All right, good to know. I just want to make sure. Uh, but it does look like if we go at the slower speed, we'll be able to get you to the end. What about you? Yeah, basically. All right, so slower speeds it is. Not ideal for starting out here, but um, we'll make it work. Can obviously push the fuel for quite a while. Might actually lose some spots since everybody else is out on south. So I was hoping we get a little bit of an edge there just by going aggressive strategy, but looks like we actually picked the same strategy as everybody else. It was the logical strategy, not an aggressive strategy. Good news is we're going to be getting our 21st and higher money. Because it can be lower. I mean, 15, 16 seems to be about where we were destined to be this entire time anyway. Maybe we can sneak into the 14th spot.
We'll see it's getting higher than 14th, though. They're pretty far ahead. Or other people's tires rolling out. I mean, they're all doing the same. Yeah, they're basically the same thing we are. Some of them even more, being more aggressive on the cons conservation side than we are. Lockup, not good. You have to go down full conservation now because we're definitely not going to pitch you again. There goes our 14th place, unfortunately. I mean, we just lock up again. Wow. Okay, well, um, who had the faster pit stop? It was him. I was going to say, is there any benefit of him pitting again? Not really. Um, I mean, we got to have him. He has to finish the race, though. So, unfortunately, he will have to pit just to finish the race. Because we need him to finish the race or else he, we don't get the money for him. What is your deal, dude? And this is why Ibanez ultimately is going to be the better person. Oh, that was just a delay pit stop. I thought it was, it must have been part of the same. We're going so fast on the fast forward that it must have been part of the same one from before. Oh, let's go there. Go there. I mean, he's dead last, but we had to finish it because otherwise we don't get the money. Um, it's his fault for spitting out. Oh, I mean, it's just lost 15, 14th. I mean, I could have babysat her, but I don't. At that point, we don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, we actually did get a fastest lap. That's funny. Yeah, we don't care that she did not get 14th that much to be honest because it doesn't really matter i could have babysat her and probably played around with the uh when she pushed and when she didn't but uh it wasn't gonna matter that much she just barely lost it anyway as long as we get these that's all i care about all right we are definitely gonna be manufacturing some of these underfloor And we got the rear wing coming out as well. We'll have those very soon. There's our research on our suspension and underfloor. Um, I mean, we got to do we got to do kind of a blanket of research across the board here. So we'll go ahead and do chassis next, I guess. Really, not that much. Oh wow, this is actually a bigger change than I expected. We actually do have to, we need, to, we need to focus on chassis more than anything else, it looks like, because uh, it is the one that's minus 70%, whereas everything else is minus 40%. We're only getting 4.7% here, whereas in some of the others, we're getting up to 8% boost. It really is just the chassis that's getting the biggest negative, so... That's the one where we just need to kind of non-stop research. Everything else we can kind of blanket research, like I said. Yeah, we're definitely not getting... Oh, it's because we had hours. That's why we're getting so much on the other one. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, so I guess 35 to 4% is pretty normal. I mean, if we have money, there's value in speeding these up. Usually there's not value in speeding them up, though. Because it just costs more money for... At least that's what I've been told. Based on research that I've done myself. Um... Okay. 
I think we'll leave him at one engineer. It's gonna be fine. All right, well, that is that. We are going to go ahead and put a cut in there. Now, once we get these new parts on, we'll see how good we can get the car. Again, we only need like one or two points just to kind of secure our ninth place spot. Other than that, I don't really care that much. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, we'll be back next time for Monte Carlo. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.